We all know the timeless classics from legendary artists, but what about those who didn't make it on their first try? Come with us to discover the 25 best non-debut breakthrough albums from some of the biggest bands in the world. These albums may have taken some time to find success, but they have undoubtedly become some of the greatest hits of all time. Paranoid, by Black Sabbath, the band's second album introduced a dark and heavy sound that took it to another level. With notable songs such as, War Pigs, Paranoid, Planet Caravan, and Iron Man, it's true metal gold for any hard rock, metal, or classic rock fan. Pink Floyd's iconic album, The Dark Side of the Moon, broke through in 1973 and spent a phenomenal 950 weeks on the Billboard charts. The album's polished, in-depth lyrics and bombastic instrumentals have solidified its place as one of the greatest albums of all time. Classics like, Time, Money, and Us and Them, cement the band's legacy. For more exclusive entertainment content, follow MSN. Aerosmith's third album, Toys in the Attic, was a huge success, selling 8 million copies, with hits like, Walk This Way, and, Sweet Emotion. The album is widely considered their best and helped establish them as a commercially successful band. Bruce Springsteen's iconic album, Born to Run, was a turning point for the boss. It saved his career and catapulted him to superstardom with hits including the title track, Thunder Road, and 10th Avenue Freezeout. Despite some cheesiness, the album is responsible for timeless rock classics. Find more entertainment content on MSN. In 1976, Kansas released, Left Overture, which marked their breakthrough in mainstream success. Their previous albums were impressive but not radio-friendly, until guitarist Carrie Livgren wrote, Carry on Wayward Son. The album also includes underrated tracks such as, The Wall, and, Miracles Out of Nowhere. Fleetwood Mac's 11th album, Rumors, was released in 1977 with Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. The emotionally charged classics like, Go Your Own Way, and, The Chain, were inspired by the couple's breakup and helped win a Grammy. It remains one of the best rock records of all time. Follow MSN for more exclusive content. Billy Joel's 1977 album, The Stranger, was his breakthrough, featuring a mix of light rock, up-tempo favorites, and theatrics. Just the Way You Are, Only the Good Die Young, and Scenes from an Italian Restaurant showcase Joel at his finest. AC slash DC's Highway to Hell in 1979 marked the band's consistent radio success in the US before the death of their lead singer, Bon Scott. The album features hits like, Girls Got Rhythm, and, If You Want Blood, You've Got It, along with notable deeper cuts. Many consider it to be the band's best record. For more exclusive entertainment content, follow us on MSN. REO Speedwagon's 1980 album, High Infidelity, transformed the band from quality arena rock to a pop band, much to the dismay of some hardcore fans. Thanks to the power ballad, Keep On Loving You, the album peaked at number one and paved the way for their future hits to sound more like Air Supply than Aerosmith. Purple Rain was the soundtrack to Prince's 1984 blockbuster film and saw him rise to the ranks of a superstar entertainer. The more pop-fueled record introduced experimental signs that he would later take to new heights. Its title track remains one of the greatest rock ballads of all time. Michael Jackson's 1982 album, Thriller, is still the best-selling album ever with 66 million copies sold. The era of music television helped propel Jackson to superstardom, with hit videos for, Billie Jean, Beat It, and the title track. None of his previous solo records were released during the MTV era. John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar, had his first big success in 1982 with, American Fool. The album featured hits like, Hurts So Good, Jack and Diane, and, Hand to Hold On To. Mellencamp became more personal in his songwriting and created a sound that would come to define him. Check out more entertainment content on MSN. Iron Maiden's album, The Number of the Beast, marked a significant change in their sound with the addition of vocalist Bruce Dickinson. The title track and Run to the Hills showcased a more polished and mature sound that would solidify them as one of the greatest bands in metal history. Check out other Grammy-snubbed songs too. 
Def Leppard's 1983 album, Pyromania, was a massive breakthrough for the band, featuring hits such as Photograph and Rock of Ages. Thanks to the rise of music videos, the album gained heavy rotation on MTV and radio, helping to propel the band to international success. Don't forget to follow MSN for more exclusive entertainment news. Bon Jovi's 1986 album, Slippery When Wet, made the band a mainstream success. Critics doubted their ability to make a blockbuster album after their first two modest successes, but hits like, Livin', On a Prayer, and, You Give Love a Bad Name, proved them wrong. The album's more pop-tinged tunes and MTV-friendly look took the band to new heights, attracting a large teenage fanbase. Slayer's 1986 album, Rain in Blood, is considered by metal critics to be the best thrash album of all time. This album features the sinister track, Angel of Death, and the haunting, Raining Blood. Although Slayer was never mainstream, they almost sold out with this album. Follow MSN for more entertainment content. U2's 1987 album, The Joshua Tree, became their most successful project, selling 25-plus million copies and introducing an early alternative-slash-indie sound in a polished and well-produced way. Songs like, With or Without You, and, Where the Streets Have No Name, still stand out and make this album a highlight of the band's career. David Coverdale's Whitesnake struggled for years to hit big, but their 1987 album, Whitesnake, changed their fate. Packed with pop-slash-hair metal hits like, Here I Go Again, and, Is This Love, they rode the wave to the top. Watch Tawny Kateen in the video. Follow our MSN for more exclusive entertainment. Public Enemy's second album, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back, is a masterpiece of raw emotion and power, with hits like, Bring the Noise, and, Don't Believe the Hype. The group's introduction of, Message, rap on their debut album Yo! Bum Rush the Show set the stage for this tour de force release. Nirvana's 1991 album, Nevermind, changed the face of rock music. Smells Like Teen Spirit was groundbreaking for its time and brought grunge to mainstream audiences. Follow MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. Red Hot Chili Peppers' 1991 album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, was a turning point for the band. It introduced them to a wider audience, thanks in part to MTV and Alt-FM radio stations. Hits like, Give It Away, and Under the Bridge, are still popular today. Siamese Dream by Smashing Pumpkins is regarded as the group's breakthrough album for mainstream success. The progressive pop sound is filled with heavy and melodic moments, including hits like Cherub Rock, Disarm, and Today. Despite being brighter than their debut album, Siamese Dream remains a 90s alternative must-have. Follow MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. Super Unknown by Soundgarden is a Grammy-nominated album with hit songs Spoonman and Black Hole Sun. It's their most successful album critically and commercially. Green Day's 1994 album Dookie opened the door for mainstream pop-punk explosion. The fun, fast-paced album is almost cartoonish and safe enough for middle schoolers. Smash hit Basket Case might still be Green Day's best song. Early fans point out their first two albums, 39 Slash Smooth and Kerplunk as good raw pop punk. Get more entertainment content on MSN. Radiohead's album OK Computer was a critical hit and helped the band achieve commercial success. The album drew comparisons to Pink Floyd and songs like Paranoid Android and Karma Police are still fan favorites today. This album remains a big part of Radiohead's legacy. Amy Winehouse's Back to Black album, released in 2006, is considered to be one of the best of the century. The album features iconic songs such as Rehab and You Know I'm No Good, and was produced by Mark Ronson and Salam Remy. Winehouse's performance is described as Neo Soul, and the album won the Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Album. Adele's 2011 album 21 won Album of the Year at the Grammys and contained international hits Rolling in the Deep, Someone Like You, and Set Fire to the Rain. Produced by Rick Rubin and Paul Epworth, the album showcased Adele's amazing vocal abilities and emotional lyrics following a breakup.
Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City is one of the great records of the 2000s. The honest and uncensored story of life in Compton earned Lamar four Grammy Award nominations. With Dr. Dre and Pharrell Williams among a host of producers, Lamar's genius as a storyteller shines through in tracks like The Recipe and Backseat Freestyle. Phoebe Bridgers' album, Punisher, was a labor of love taking 1.5 years to record. Her indie sound and emotional lyrics are balanced with fans' view of her. Garden Song has a folk vibe and Kyoto offers a 90s alternative sound. This album is a culmination of her development as a performer and songwriter. Charlie XCX has released her fifth studio album, Crash, which debuted in the Billboard 200 Top 10, a first for the English pop and dance singer-songwriter. The album features five singles, including Good Ones and Beg For You. Crash is also her final album under Atlantic Records, leaving her future as an artist uncertain but exciting. Singer-songwriter Caroline Polachek's fourth album, Desire, I Want to Turn Into You, has already earned high praise from music critics. With undeniable pop elements and a touch of alternative flair, the album showcases Polachek's overall talent. The record generated buzz with singles like Billions, released in 2022. Make sure to check it out and follow us for more entertainment content on MSN.